All right, I'm Mr. J. We uh, we successfully made a drill-powered lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> Right, guys this is you know this project you know about this We've got the four stroke engines here gonna convert to electric and uh, we're here with Zach and Jesse they're setting up the studio lights gotta make it look good yeah and we got all kinds of electronics getting going we're gonna shoot an episode of uh, what are we gonna call this uh, lawnmower conversion with mr. G I think yeah lawnmower conversion and we, you know, and then we're gonna get to the ammo box that's uh, made by Jehu. Look at all these batteries. Oh, so cool! All right, stay tuned. So in this episode, we're gonna test out the lawnmower that we decided to work on last time on Mr. G's workshop. Except this time, we're gonna have the help of Zach and Jesse. We're gonna do a real speed run test to see if it works in real life situations. We're also gonna add a battery to it, one of our own, or we're gonna use Jehu's ammo box battery and test out watts and amps. Remember what Mr. G said on last episode? But basically, we're gonna run this thing and mow the lawn. I don't think it's gonna last that long, but we can predict how long. And actually, tomorrow's a great day because tomorrow. Once this is set up, we get to measure how many watts it really takes to mow the lawn. And so far we only know what it takes to run the drill around 240, what it takes to run the uh, motor with no, with no compression around 4 or 500, and what it takes to start the engine around 850. So we don't know what it takes to cut the grass. My guess, 5 to 600. And when it gets in a little bit of trouble, it might spike up to 800. Jesse. You want holes on both sides, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we're making flutes. Doo -doo -doo. Look at that thing. I'm pretty excited. Um, it's promising, and again, this wasn't going to be the final product, so don't worry. We have many, many more plans coming. We got the mower all hooked up. Jesse's gonna rock it, and we're checking out the the watts. Well, that's a good shot. Prediction is correct. Nice. I uh, get in there and mow some grass. There we go. And it's working, it's cutting. Nice. Around 800, there you go. Nice. So now that this passed with flying colors, we're gonna try to test out our own with a battery. Hey, this is Mark from The Shadow Makers. If there's anything in this video that you'd like to learn, Mr. G offers classes at the link below that you can sign up for. Enjoy the video. All right, Jesse, what the hell are you doing? Um, look at this. Got all our batteries put together. Put it in a little, you know, pack. Boom. Nice. Power wall. You got the pack built. All right. What this thing is possibly capable of doing. I'm gonna hold it. Ready? Whoa, Jesus Christ. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> the tape came off. All right, so that's 48 volts. Well, it's actually up at around 56, but 48 volts nominal, 48 volt motor. This is gonna go on the mower. Okay, so you see here, basically all the positives move over to the negatives. Then when you flip this over, That goes to the positive, which then goes to the negative. Down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over. There you go. This is like Elon Musk, boring company, flamethrower. Okay, serious thing, all right? Whoa. There's only 10,000 in the world. Nice. 
And then the trigger actually. <laughs> Is that full? Oh my god! So before we all play with fire and burn ourselves alive, like we do with romance, here's how we're going to design the plate so that the engine can fit. Like every other engineer out there, we design a prototype so that we can start building it. To see if it fits or not, and then we trial and error. The electric motor, see how that fits? Like that. Okay, so now you're... Look at this madness. And this is honestly what happens when trial and errors don't work after 50 tries, so we just burn everything to the ground. I guess shop class and marriage are extremely similar. Uh, we're in the garage and uh, this is our pack. And today we're going to attach our BMS, which is like a management system. And uh, this way you, uh, if one cells up, and you take it down just a little bit so it matches the other cells. You don't want any cells going too high or too low. They all gotta be together. Alright. Da 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 na! Relax. It's not a bomb. It's just a battery, which is it's like a bomb. It looks like a bomb. It looks like a bomb. Well, it it's a it's a bomb that releases its energy very slowly. You have a rocket on your shirt. <laughs> I don't trust you. All right, working on the box with the battery. You got to put that someplace safe. Okay, so the and battery's we, in there. We want to be able to say the see the uh, BMS. This is going to light up to tell us how the charging goes. Nice. And we're putting a glass top on the uh, like the glass top on the top so we can see the battery. We don't want to just pretend it's a brick of wood. Right. And uh, yeah, we're almost there. Cool. We should run it real quick. Everything a little safety tape? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's hooked up to the battery. So here we go. Wow. Look at this. And you can see the... the battery charge. Yeah. Big Ready? Charge. That's cool. And then when you let go, it stops. Yeah, which is a safety mechanism. Safety dead man switch. All right. All right, so over here, this shaft and this blade. Although, he made it too good. So now we have to cut it open up this blade a little bit, it's tight. By the way, you see this metal part over here? We had our lovely friend Mark Bowserett make this part for us, using his talents and his lathe. So thank you, Mark, you're the best. Dude, it fits so good. And we'll get our guy in, our pressure plate. Yeah, does that index in? So that's the next step. And zip, zip, zip. Okay, so blade is in. Ready to go. It's rock and roll. All right, so we already blew the fuse. Uh, this is what happened. Um, this fuse is in line here, and it's only a 15. And I guess because we started it on the taller grass and it was going from zero that it just spiked up and popped the fuse. But we do have, I didn't realize we were going to use this harness, otherwise we already have a fuse. This is a 40 amp fuse. And then up here we have a breaker which handles 20 amp breaker and it'll just pop out. But it's probably on a delay, so you don't have to worry about that too much. But other than that, what we're going to do is, um, once we turn it on, we're going to uh, uh, be able to measure the volts and the amps, and then we can get the watts. Alright, stay tuned. So we're up at uh, about, when it's bogged down, about 20 to 23 amps, and uh, that's close to um, a thousand watts. So if you say 20 times to about 40, 45, 46, it's a close to a thousand watts. That stops really fast. Yeah, I guess so. How much time? Uh, we're at 15 minutes almost. 
and I just saw that we're at 40 volts. Okay. 41 volts. Right. Everything's looking good so far. Yeah, it's actually lasting pretty good. I thought at first it was going to bog down, but it's going pretty good. Hey, it's Mr. G. All right, thanks for watching that episode. I really appreciate that. And if you're interested in learning how all those parts and pieces work, I have classes on my website. Uh, engines 101, welding 101, I have electric vehicles 101, all of which will get you to the point to converting your car or learning mechanical things in fabrication. Stay tuned for next episode where we're going to convert a midget car from gas to electric. Peace!